You see, I do listen sometimes, and then I get in trouble for it. Anyways, Madonna needs a medical alert bracelet because she's so old. She's going to fall over. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyways, well, are we ready for everything? See? But what is fun is that we're all still dear friends. <laughs> as of this point. Yeah, as of things, this things point. Things might change in an hour. We'll things see. Things can change. Mike's, Mike's a little angry at us. He's a little mad at us. It's okay. And he always is. He's got to put the pressure on. I understand it. A little crises precipitates change. Uh, but, you know, I just I thought we were going to small talk before we got into everything. Mm. And we were. And then we got scolded. Scalded. Yes, scalded. It's one thing to be burned, but not to be scalded. That is permanent. That is permanent. Like when you almost fall during the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Like Beyonce did. Yeah. Last night. She almost, but she saved herself. Madonna had worse luck when she did her Super Bowl. She, ah, ah. With the help of yeah, her crew. She's about ready to push that little button on her medical alert bracelet. Yep. Life alert. New spokesperson. <laughs> Madonna. Life alert. A life alert. Yeah, well, I guess you can't win them all. You hit that age. You're still performing. A lot of pressure. Making out with, you know, superstars yeah. on the regular. Contracting all kinds of diseases out in England. They got all kinds of shit that we don't even have shots for yet. They oh, I didn't know about that. Oh, I need to get, yeah. I need to get tested. Shit. Yeah, go get, well, but unless you've been there, you shouldn't need to. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it's just one of those things where it's it's wise to invest in inoculations before traveling abroad. But, uh, yeah, welcome back to Caution Tape. I'm Adam Page, and to the left of me is Hank Junipero. And if you're in Oakland, it's just Junipero. <laughs> Junipero. Yeah. Junipero. Junipero. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with Caution Tape, we uh, bring to you the news in uh, music and movies. And if you don't really like our opinion, well, that's just tough luck. Uh, just kidding. It's up to you what you want to do. And uh, what you could do is uh, run by patreon.com slash caution tape. Pledge a dollar. Support the show. And uh, please follow us on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and, of course, YouTube at Caution Tape Vids. And without further ado, we have got some headlines for you. So what's up? Got a few things happening within the last couple weeks. Uh the internet's been blowing up everywhere with this new Kanye release. Yes. Um, started off with a basic name change. There he is. The best album maker of the world, as he says. Creative ever. genius himself. Yes, Easy. ever. Um, so we got started off with a basic name change early January. Uh, switched from Swish to Waves. Uh, started a little backlash on Twitter. We got Wiz Khalifa involved. Not happy. He's starting to back up his Max B homie who yeah. started the wave. The wavy movement, the early wavy 2000s, movement. Um, where Wiz got a lot of his inspiration, apparently. And Kanye pretty much destroyed him, as you probably well know. Uh, we got a real rekindling, yeah. Um, yeah. apparently, with an interview with uh, Bootleg Kev. Wiz Khalifa said that they squash the beef, that everything's cool now. And yeah, Max uh, B was cool with it. Like, he was like, hey. Yeah. Respect. Oh, actually, hey, yeah. I did see that. Max yeah. B. Max yeah, B was so like, he was Yo, totally cool with that. Put so. me back on. I'm still locked up. But for what did it really, was the whole the whole thing really like, uh, Wiz Khalifa was talking about his weed. Oh, yeah. And then KK. Kanye is like, you talking about my woman. <laughs> In a Mr. T voice, of course. Yeah. And he's like, nah, KK's weed, fool. Yeah. You tripping. And then it turned into the, you stole this. And you, you stole, stole this. That. I own your baby. Dang, yeah, I forgot. That, that like was that shit. rough. You don't own somebody else's baby unless you legally adopt it. Yeah. But yeah. like I said, they've all they've made good. Uh, we said they squashed the beef. Um, we got a the new gospel album coming out February 11th. Get ready for it. Uh and who's that? Who is this gospel man? Is he a church Kanye. Goer? Oh, shit. Kanye, man. How about that? Uh, oh, yeah. Dude. The, the, pretty soon he's just going to be Oh, we're Jesus. listening to Jesus Walks right now. You can't, probably can't hear it. But, yeah. Show me the 
<laughs> oh, guys, guys, I just can't stay. Oh, yeah, totally familiar with that whole album. If there's no more follow-up questions, we're in business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, because um, I forgot he was Jesus. He walks on water, and yeah. every album he makes, you know, he said this last, this next album is going to be the best album ever. And then, because I was upset, I was like, ever, yeah. dude, there's so many genres, and there's a lot of stuff that hasn't even been made yet. Mm-hmm. And then he said, no, I got to, you know, props to Farside and Q-Tip and many others. And so I was like, okay. He yeah. A little well, rough quick. <clears throat> we might not be done with the name changes yet. Uh, he just dropped on Twitter that he might be switching it up. More than likely will. Called this a few weeks back. But, you know, it's Kanye. It's and what, creative genius. We got to we gotta make do. What was the original that they was going to be? So help me God. So help me God. Because Kardashian put on the old tweets. Like there was a poll. Did you oh partake yeah, in that? the polls have been popping on Twitter lately. Everybody's everyone's, going, for everyone's the... going for the polls now. Yeah. We got. Which did you go? F- did you pick one? Did you pick a title? No, I just I just want to hear it. I'm just anxious for yeah. February 11th. Yeah. Anxious. And that's this Thursday. Thursday. Jesus drops yeah. his latest album. Jesus. Oh, Yeezy yeah. season three. We that's also got the. We got a little sneak peek from Kanye's Twitter. We oh, got the right. uh, we got to see some of the knit sweater, some like socks with translucent shoes. We got a, a wife ensemble apparently with like a torn sweater look. It's pretty cool. Looks like some of the stuff we've seen before, but a little more. I oh, know it's just new. Looking he, forward to it. And he's got it's not a magazine. It's a it's a zine. Zine with zine. minus the mag, so it's like. Pictures without words. It's a picture book. Yeah, it's it's a little picture book. Um, these have been popping up kind of on like the hipster, low key underground. There's a lot of people doing zines to promote their gear. Kanye's bringing it to the mainstream now. He's even telling people not to mispronounce it because <laughs> apparently people have been calling it Zine or something. Zine. Like that. Oh, like Zine. They're trying to get all biblical with it. And it's like, no, just because I'm. The Lord. <laughs> you don't have just because I'm the Lord. You just because I pronounce. like that. I don't, yeah. like, don't do that to my zine. So they're cool. They got naked, naked chicks in them if you like naked chicks. Yeah, so there's like clo- naked chicks. ladies in it as well. But it's all tasteful. It's art. You know, yeah. it's not all porno. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's not quite like that. Um, this is popping. Let's see. We got Fast and Furious 8. Yep. Coming out. That's gonna be nice. Uh, read a Keeping little article by Rob Keys on Screen Rant, um, talking about the release dates and what's gonna be going on for that. Um, we're gonna have uh, returning stars Dwayne the Rock Johnson coming back. We got Eva Mendez who's coming back from First Fast and Furious Two. Yeah. Um, if you don't know this who will be Eva Mendez right? is, Google her, eight put her as your screensaver. Uh, and then yeah. nine, they're gonna have Kurt Russell's gonna return. I was waiting for you to mention yeah, that. Yeah, I just you know. saw him. I just saw seven last night, and I, of course, hadn't seen it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, "What, Kurt Russell? Why didn't Mike tell me Kurt Russell?" What was that? He did. And, yeah, but he surprised me by making me watch it by myself. Yeah, we were supposed to watch it together. We made a pact. But I know. Duty calls, duty calls, and I watched it. Yeah, did you have some beer at least, or like yeah, a couple? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah, no, well it worked it. out. It was a good uh, end of the uh, the Super Bowl uh, mm-hmm. evening, and uh, it was it was cool. It was rough. I, I was I was I noticed that I was trying to find a lot of the scenes where they digitally uh, mm-hmm. imposed uh, Paul Walker. Oh yeah, because this being his last film, of course. Uh, and uh, part way through, they got most of the. Uh, uh, key footage taken care of. So Could you was, tell at all? At there was point? a couple. There was a couple where like it wouldn't show his face all the way, and it's like being a movie star, they're gonna show your face, face yeah. every time. Yeah. So a lot of the like side shots, uh, kinda, like you can tell, like oh, this is where I they was like, this in. may have been uh, one they cut in. I'm like, which kind of makes it real. It kind of makes it sad because then you're like, it just sets in. Like he's not there because he's not there. He's not here. You know. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we don't know him, but we do. We got to know him. Through mm. was it almost twenty years, yeah, of uh, of of Furious Fast franchise, and, yeah, uh, and then that's crazy going on for that long, yeah, and then at the end, of course, there's the uh, they added in the scene uh, where it's basically you know being the family man, which I think is a good way to mm-hmm. to uh, you know tie it all together with the reality of his death is uh, you know family man he can't work anymore, 
Uh, you could see it in uh, uh, Vin Diesel's, uh, you know, in his, his dialogue that it was a genuine emotion. Like, you know, mm-hmm. not only are they losing their character, but he lost a friend that he grew up with, in the yeah. scene, you know, more or less. And so everybody you could see on the, for that last scene, uh, kind of had their, they definitely had their heart in their dialogue. And that was touching. Yeah, and I think then, that got a lot of people in, like who watch it too, like in yeah. the theater, and just like people felt a strong connection. And they realized that. like this is real. This is not just you know, mm-hmm. it's not just movie magic. Uh, and then uh, comes in with that uh, scene with the song, and you know, probably Wiz's best uh, <laughs> best thing. He hasn't done uh, done a lot of stuff people have been happy with lately. And uh-huh. uh, it was a touching song. And then of course there's that uh, that aerial shot of uh, the cars going their separate ways. Yeah. You know, they would be racing, but they're not anymore. They must part ways. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to that <laughs> Supra. Mike's the Superman. See, and of course me, I like the Charger. That's that's my thing. Yeah. That's my Kurt Russell. American that's muscle. my death proof. Yeah. You know, the old school. But they were both adequate and perfect for. What do you what do you think of them uh extending out the series this long and they're going to be making three more movies now actually that they just released eight nine and ten which is going to be part of a trilogy that at first i was kind of like oh now they're just milking things you know but again i guess that's what they've been doing the whole time it's now a franchise so you kind of have to expect that you have to accept that Mm -hmm. uh paul walker's brother you know denied that he's going to be you know he's not going to be a part of it they're gonna use him and superimpose Mm -hmm. but they're just gonna do a workaround now and so i think that's you know that's a good uh, decision you know it's his brother he doesn't want to try and fill those shoes uh but in terms of just keeping the franchise alive it makes too much money for them not to and that's kind of sucky but at the same time let's see what happens kurt russell is going to be coming back (laughs) in nine and uh kurt russell's got to make it you know what i mean yeah and, uh, you know, he's going to be Mr. Nobody, and maybe he'll have more of a role in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll see. <laughs> they'll make it deeper. Yeah, they'll, they'll make it deeper. connect to the audience they'll tie it in with time. Death Proof, and it'll be gorgeous. They won't do that. But No, probably not. You know. But uh, I was reading that article by uh, Rob Keyes, and he was saying that they're potentially going to make spinoff movies with uh, Eva Mendez and... I was um, reading that, too, yeah. Kurt Russell as well, so I'm I'd, I'd be stoked to see the Kurt Russell one. Just see how they would make that because Kurt Russell's not gonna do like a feature bad film. Nah, he can't let me down like that, bro. Yeah, yeah, he just got into him. You know, Big Trouble in Little China now. Yeah, He's Tombstone. On the wagon. I've been watching that since I was like two years old. Oh, Huckleberries, so. all kinds of <laughs> lungers. Yeah, it's great. So yeah, um, I'm eager to see what's gonna happen. Yeah. Speaking of uh, spinoffs and trilogies, we got... Oh, you know what? We what? skipped my f- my favorite movie yeah, of all that's time. What, no, I don't think we skipped it. Oh, I think we almost skipped my favorite movie of all time, I think guys. You, hold on. Hold on. Well, well, yeah, well, let's let's bust it out. Let's see well, what we got. Well. I also had one of these, but the I uh, lost mine. He conveniently crumpled his up in disappointment, which... Let's, let's, not ruin, let's not ruin the Pravado. Well, they don't even know what we're Pravadoing. Oh, there it is. Can you see that, Mike? This is the swag. Can you get in that there? That we got for paying fourteen dollars on a hold my oh, ticket. Oh no, I bought I bought two tickets, bro. Oh yes. Well. So I'm doubly doubly well, upset. It's a short film starring Gerald G. Easy. We use the Gillum. term short film lightly, Tunnel loosely. Uh, written by Sarah B. Downey and Antonio Servidio. Uh, Servidio. Oh, that's actually the that's who that's who the main character is. That's his, the real main character. That's the real guy. Yeah, Antonio. I have no. I didn't know it was Antonio. This. I thought his name was something else. I think his name was no was, uh, Rousseau. Oh no, that's who Rousseau is who the character is based yeah, off of. Yeah, that's who. That's the name of the actual character. I mean that's the name of the character Easy's character, but it's based oh, off of the life based on of the life of Antonio, Antonio Servidio. 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 And it was directed also by Sarah B. Downey, who regretted she said she couldn't this kind of got me off guard. I was like <laughs> she, she was, was funny, jealous. Guys. She's like in a little like phone video, she's like, I'm so jealous that I can't watch it with you guys. I'm like she jealous was, of who? Everybody else that was watching it with us in Albuquerque or 
or I'm jealous that she couldn't watch a film she's seen a thousand times in the editing room. Like it just, I was like, yeah, bro, tr- poor choice. Of no, words. What did, I guess maybe I'm just picking things. Okay, apart. guys. So here, here's what really went down. The it promoter, down. the promoter comes out and says the director is very upset. She can't be here tonight. She's sick in LA. She has an upcoming show. Yeah, sick in LA. Yeah, sick. <laughs> she was not Then sick. they show a video of her, like an iPhone video, just laying on the couch, like casual. Like, She's like, hey, guys, I can't be there. I'm working uh, hard over here. Like, like she couldn't even do a fake cough. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, which me, though, I got a real cough. It was cold out there. I stood in line with all these little kids. Um, and, uh, yeah, I picked up some plague. And so. Yeah. And then she was she was genuinely, 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 Jealous. genuinely, 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 genuinely sorry she couldn't come. Sorry. She Maybe not that many times, but she said it like four or five times. And it was like, you say genuinely four or five times. I genuinely don't believe don't you. Don't believe you. It yeah. was it was an awkward get go. And then the opening scene, the I opening, laughed out loud. Well, yeah. Because well, G-Eazy no. just on camera. I might look a little funny it on camera right now, but this yeah. guy was just like. No, and again, it's like when I heard all that, scene. the jealousy and the genuinely, I was like, oh, okay, what are we in for? <laughs> and uh, we were in for a little bit of uh, redundancy. Like, I mean, he pulls the gun out. Mm-hmm. With the glove box and like shows it to the camera when I think it should have been he just pulls it out and clicks it off screen and you'd know what it was that'd be kind of cool yeah but then right after he pulls out a wad of money and like shows the hundreds to the camera like and I'm like yeah, over the shoulder a little flip book of a clips. shitload of hundreds would have been like a lot cooler yeah you can do a little Guy Ritchie twist i don't know he could have been at least doing doing some drugs or like something yeah know. something so it's like get the gun and then the money and then i was like ah oh, crap but east side g's was playing oh yeah i the, like that old music that, that's some bay area cats and then also uh some rapping forte also from the bay so that was the that best was part cool of the film, that was, i was excited i was like look up the track list on the movie yeah if you'll you'll find some good music you'll find Make sure it's not g easy though because he's he's on probably a few songs in there too <laughs> I think you have to be on when you, when you uh, are <laughs> like starring. Three two thousand, check it out. Um, and then there was Quentin esque non diegetic type, like this is a crooked cop. Yeah, with like an arrow, and I was ding. like, yeah, ding. They did the old yeah. typewriter. And I was like, yo, you can't do that. It's too soon, and it's not. T- it's not. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working. Uh, Honestly, I I gave it a shot, guys. I was like, we, all, was we both went in there. Excited. It was like I read the previews on I it. I got the plague. The for new this Eight movie. Mile apparently mixed yeah, with the Wolf that, of Wall Street. Right, I'm like that. Eminem, Leo. They got this. There's a dirty cop scene. Yeah, and then he pulls out his gun to pull down the got it. the the blind where the it. cops out of the room. It's like, why would you use your gun to like see if somebody's looking at you? It's just it was just yeah. not. It was Good short. Action. They got that part right. It, it was, was a short, short film. It, it was. was. It was. It was short, and it apparently yeah. it was a film. But best flips. Uh, yeah, and it just uh, I expected more out of performance. Like he just seemed uncomfortable the whole time. And mm-hmm. for him to be a promoter, you know, and earning three million dollars, that he ends up getting his lawyer to swindle. I just like. I just didn't. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it that he was like a millionaire. Yeah, I remember. I seen. I've seen. Uh, I've saw. I seen. I don't know. Jamie Foxx had an interview and he was discussing how his career, he wants to look back at the span of his career in a full circle and look at all these different characters that he's like portrayed in movies, film, um, music, whatever. And that's that's his goal in life. Look is back at to the collage be, of his work. Yeah, and look, be accomplished and be happy with that. If... Gerald were to do that right now, like, what are you, what are you doing, bro? Like, you this is have his first film. You got a grain of salt. Him, can you uh, give him a grain of salt? I was just for his first. I bought two tickets. Debut. Yeah, you're a little. So you had I more, bought two tickets. You I'm had more money upset. riding on the line. You should have played him with the shady lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. and that part in the whole you parameter of the film lawyer. was just well, like, like, call me back, call me back. But it's like, but you're at a payphone, dude. You're gonna sit there wait at that payphone all night, day, week. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, there's a lot it of was sketchy. It was holy. It was sketchy. It was holy. Um, yeah, yeah. And then the last shot ended with uh, with uh, the real Russo or oh, the, tell my story to Hollywood. Well, and that's the thing. Yeah, tell my story to Hollywood. But then it shows him Exit in the scene. lineup. In the lineup. Oh yeah, the with real the, with the real dude. Yeah. Which I don't think it was him. They had to impose a picture somehow. I doubt they let him out. <laughs> You're that. like, all right, we're filming a movie. Come out. Yeah. Oh, in that case, yeah, it's the debut. Cool. But at that point, it's like it doesn't. It didn't make any sense to do that unless it was a documentary mm-hmm. about it. Like, I mean, it could have been presented as 
a documentary on the life of a show promoter who got swindled by a shithead lawyer. Yeah, no, they promoted it as they a new eight mile. They promoted it as a new eight mile, and that is it's not like, what it is. Uh, that was so, disappointing. But uh, speaking of good performances, um, Super Bowl was yesterday. We had the uh, good and bad, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't yeah, I guess the Panthers it. didn't perform as well as. He yeah, I was more referring to like Coldplay and how I it's know, not 2012 anymore. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Uh, they're, yeah, they hit single from like four years ago. They had like, uh, yeah, I never even followed them. And I was like, oh, Coldplay's coming. They're doing that. Maybe it's going to rejuvenate their career like it did Missy Elliott's last year. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they're yeah. they're cool doing their thing, but uh, Beyonce and Bruno just killed it so hard. Uh, yeah, with their dolphin tail. Dolphin tail? Oh. No, yeah, I'm no, talking no. about Beyonce almost falling. It was. We miss you, Left Shark. We yeah. thought you'd make a cameo appearance. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Maybe we'll get the right shark. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the right shark. I like that. Yeah, but oh no, you're talking about the surfboard Beyonce almost falling thing. Yeah, right? which yeah. again was better than Madonna's because Madonna was like, ah, fuck, I fell almost, and Beyonce yeah. looked like it was part of her. No, dance. that was a super good recovery. Shout, Very shout good out recovery. to all the squats you've been doing, Beyonce. We appreciate it. Yeah, you have owned the booty, uh, which I guess. Uh, Look how awkward that looks. That would that would just. Uh, I he's don't like, know. I got my face on a titty. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that part looks pretty great. But That's what you I'm know, saying. He's yeah. loving it. Yeah, he's definitely loving it. And Bruno just like, hey, creep vibes. Um, I don't know. I would have watched it, but I didn't. Black Panther. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I'm joking. I know I'm joking. that uh, Beyonce's outfit was supposed to be a tribute to Michael Jackson's Michael Jackson. Super Bowl performance. When yeah, he had, like, yeah the I can see that. I can see the conquistador look going on with the. I can see the Panther Jackson going on. Yeah, because the Michael Jackson, that bandolier, it does look like a bandolier of bullets. Yeah. Uh, and then Bruno Mars, I mean. Where yeah. did her bandolier go? Oh, we missed uh, the bandolier. Oh, she but, changes know. fast. But when you have that much booty, it's like she did her butt changed for her. She's. Yeah. <laughs> but so, okay. Uh, so she's got all this We ass. just can't stop looking. Sorry, Sorry guys. We'll, Sorry. We pay attention to you. Well, you know, you know they say, they say you know, when you wear stripes, it bec- it's slimming. She's breaking that up. Yeah, not but, yeah. Okay, so what was that? What there's this there's this buzz about the documentary that's got this booty, oh. but booty music? What's the documentary about? What it's that? it's about beat music that beat music was cultivated. I I'm, I don't know much about this guy. I just watched right? the documentary, but this is cultivated in uh Louisiana. Um I'm not sure exactly New Orleans. But just Louisiana in, in general. Louisiana and it's how they've Chopped music and pretty much to twerking music. Yeah, turned it into ass shaking um, music. Which Beyonce is like, hell yeah, I gotta yeah. get on that. So that's if you listen thing. to like Diplo in the last year, that's a lot of uh, influence. I think that can you might be able to relate to. Um, might I'm not might. promising you anything. We'll see, but yeah, check it out for yourself. Look that shit up. It's tight. Fuck with it. Oh yeah, and that's where it all turned sour. Yeah, turned south for uh, Beyonce when she dropped the formation video. Dropped the formation on, video. I think when she dropped that on the sixth. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. So by doing so, it infringed upon. Yeah. So there was a that that beat documentary, which was directed by Abteen Bagheri and produced by Chris Black. And uh, apparently they had, um, according to Eric Deep from Complex Magazine, uh, did an uh, interview. And I guess Chris Black had signed a contract with uh, some such and co, uh, producing company. And when they had released their documentary, they did it in partner with Sundance and Nokia. And either Sundance or Nokia gave Beyonce's team the approval to use the green light to use some clips, like right, right. mad clips, like not like yeah, one, they, two, three, they four. Just did a like digest of they that used, documentary, and, and like she just made it her video or like I, did. I watched them back to back because I I watched a formation video like at least like four or five times because I mean it was a dope video and like it was a good song. You've and, seen like, it previous. 
yeah, it's like previous before I even knew that they had bit all that shit. And then I watched the documentary. As soon as I d- was done watching the documentary, I was like, well, this documentary is cool. Like, I definitely remember images. I have to go watch the formation video again. And when and I then, watched it, I was astounded by the amount of footage that they used. Like, there's at least eight scenes where... Yeah. And they it starts off in the straight beginning up jack just how that shit. it begins with that whole tilted uh, house in the water. That Tilted house in the water. They do like a close-up of these flashing light bulbs. They do like this guy with a grill that's like flashing. There's like, there's a couple of them I didn't even see that I was reading in articles later on that like matched it up perfectly. I was like, oh yeah, they put a, like an Instagram filter on it and like called it their own. Cool. Yeah, yeah. As a creative, that just, that just pisses me off especially when you have um i think chris black mentioned this in an interview when you have a fifty thousand dollar budget to and make a music video it. and then you straight up jack someone else's shit it's fucked up dude yeah but did uh so was there like there was like legitimate rights though to it like yeah but the like i said it's the, cool to do but like legally there's no like foul oh, play. no they no just... Le- legally they're in the clear but still like no creatively it's like come on guys like you said fifty thousand yeah. dollar budget and that's and all they spent on it i think oh, so. i guess they saved a lot by using those clips <laughs> like oh, whoa, whoa <laughs> let's just cut this in half people. i mean it's beyonce though like she i'm i'm sure rock nation has little extra budget to like throw yeah for the video but yeah. regardless, I was just like, I could see getting like one or two, and like you like you get inspiration from that. But they bit. Keep on using curse words. They bit it a lot. <laughs> they bit it a lot. They bit it a lot, quote unquote. Um, and then they like the many. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I was gonna say a quote by Beyonce, but we already got over all we that. We already got over on her. Um. New music. We got Summer 16 dropping this April. Uh, or no, not Summer 16. We got Views from the Six dropping this April. Summer 16 just dropped. That single, right? Uh, last week yeah. or like a week and a half ago um, on the OVO radio promoted by Apple. Yeah. And they actually got it on uh, Pandora now. Yeah. I was listening to it on Pandora this morning. And I was like, oh, cool. I, yeah, Pandora? The, yeah, good old Pandora. Pandora. <laughs> good old Pandora. And, uh, and then I got a text Pandora message. Express. And you know how the app has, uh, you know, it's got the rights to lower the volume and all that mm-hmm. for text messaging. Well, after the text message was over, the volume never increasified. <laughs> and then I couldn't listen to the song. And it. You still haven't listened to it, No, Adam? I did. Oh. But I was listening to it again. Oh, guys. I want you to just no, kill this come man. come on. No, like, no, no. no. No, that's why I was excited, because I knew okay. it when it came on. I was like, oh, fuck, it's Summer 16. I Summer love that 16. beat. It's dope. Do you listen Forty's to it six times it. in a row, though? No, I didn't. Oh. I didn't get to listen to it that last time this morning, because oh, the no. stupid volume never went back up. And so, yeah, but now I'm looking for revenge. All you got to do is download Pandora. the app, bro. Just download the app. It is. It's on its way out. MySpace. JT tried to bring it back, but... He tried. And there's still some people that's still Damn hitting the no. MySpace hard. I think but it's, it's like a it's music my... parameter or something like that now. I don't know. I don't, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. They tried. I'll do Spotify Go to that. You tried. You threw millions of dollars at it. And you failed. Money. A little money ball. <laughs> yeah. Big bills out. Big bills out. Um, The OVO whole radio set was lit. Summer 16. Good song. I don't know if I listen to it six times in a row every time, but every time is that what he says? Like every time you listen to it, just clear a half an hour. <laughs> no, yeah. that's just that's just what they did on the radio episode. Yeah, but uh, OVO Sound Radio. I like yeah. Again, man, uh, I listen to the beats first, and when I heard that beat. I was like, I can listen to this. I will. Mm-hmm. I shall. And I tried this morning. Did you listen to Meek's response? Uh, I think I did. Yeah, we vaguely it. remember you, Meek. Yeah. We, we definitely listen to it, but we vaguely yeah, remember. Yeah, you getting one upped again, even after the math. They're all dropping that. I was in the hotel room above you, listening to the shit about you. As you going to bed. As you going to sleep on your oh, lady's booty. Or she was sleeping on his. I don't know. Maybe too hard. Maybe not be the most comfortable. Yeah, you just gotta fluff them. Yeah, just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always good, but that is what it is, and uh, I. All meek. Mm-hmm. All weak meal. All weak meal. All weak meal. 
to be oh. continued on another time. Uh, but, I mean, besides that, uh, the new Jesus album coming out on uh, Thursday, I mean, uh, So Help Me God, mm-hmm. which it'll probably be, because yeah, no, probably Kim Kardashian's all the way back to so help me God. showing that that title is getting the most votes. Whether or not he believes the fans or goes and trusts them to revert back is another story, but that's going to be Thursday. He wants to be a millionaire. Do you go with the fans? He wants to be a millionaire. But, no, he's got to throw a curveball. My director at us. doubts it, but you know, we we'll throw know. five bucks at Watch, it. When it comes we'll out to be happens. so help me, so help me swish. <laughs> so help me swish. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Uh, but that's Thursday. Mm-hmm. This Friday, we've the got the fifth. No, the twelfth. The twelfth. We've got the special, special, long-awaited film hitting mm-hmm. the silver screen. We've got and Deadpool coming IMAX. at you. Yeah. So, on that note, it's time for some Deadpool. And we all know who he is. He's the Merc with the Mouth, the Canadian man who used Weapon X's healthcare, Go Canada, to become the man. I was going to do Leaf Simple. I don't know how to do it, guys. Yeah, that, yeah, just we can just do C. Bam. Sign it for you. Yeah. C, D, A, or something. Right. So, there we go. So, there's Deadpool. You guys may have seen him. You may not have. Um, I have seen him, and I... Brought a little, little present. Oh, you got a present for yes. me. Yes, my Nardwar. favorite breakfast cereal. No, this isn't really Nardwar. it. No, I really this can't is actually have it. just a little, uh, little protector because I didn't want to hurt the spines. You brought it in a cereal box. Cereal box, and I was using my my Gerald Easy poster. Oh, to create yeah, you should just wrap it in the Gerald Easy natural poster. Cur- no, don't wrap comics, man. Oh, and uh, <laughs> when, Sorry, the, when it's bent in such a fashion, there's minimal spine. Crinkling oh. option, yes. Spine so, crinkling. anyways, I brought a couple out. One of them is this one. Yes, it's quite good. It's kind of a backstory. Adam hasn't even shown me, guys. So, I I'm sh- yeah, just as curious as you are. He's making fun of my box, but uh, you, you bought a Kokashi lean box yeah. with comics in it and a G Easy poster. Hey, when it comes to transporting collectibles, <laughs> don't take it lightly. Yeah. So there, there we go. go. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thank that's you. cool. Oh, the limited, cover art limited is awesome. series. Limited one. series. There we go. Some X Men. Bam. I wish. I wish I had the uh, the uh, first appearance of Deadpool because I won't mess it up. That's nah, okay. I'm just you're making my Agent Orange act up. Oh. No, I'm just messing. Okay. And then uh, and I got this one. This one's not too bad. It's kind of just more of a more of a it gets into the love story of him and his uh, teenage. Uh, prostitute girlfriend, oh. Vanessa Carlisle, which it never really specifies what kind of a teen she is. Is <laughs> she an 18 or a 19? Oh. Or a prostitute? We don't know. Oh, okay. We don't know. And so I that's guess, kind of the know. ambiguity. You know, they yeah. draw her like she's not. You know, of course, every mm. comic book lady is on Yeah, everyone's so like 28. She's now a woman. But actually yeah. 19. But what I did bring is Deadpool's number one of his solo comic. Yes. Oh, the circle chase. That's rare, guys. Yeah. Not as rare, of course, as the uh, I... New Mutant, uh, where he had the first appearance, but it's still pretty not bad. I'm pretty happy about it, and I'm glad I took care yeah. of it. Have you been collecting these, these for a while? or? Uh, I actually got this when it came out, yeah. Oh. So uh, Deadpool was created in 91, but this comic, I'm pretty sure it's like 93. Let's see what the ads say. Oh. Yeah, it's a 93. So if I were to collect that, it has to be like two and like saved yeah. all my piggy all bank money. All your pennies, yeah. And okay. All that. But again, though, this whole, uh, see, Deadpool's under fire. You know why? Not just because he's dating a teen prostitute. Yeah. But, you know, they think like, well, comics, you know, the whole 90s is kind of like, they don't, a lot of people criticize it as like the bad era of comics. Well, it was just like less censored. Like you can get away with. Well, that, but there's also a lot of new characters. You got uh, X Force and X Factor came after that. Um, mm-hmm. Then you've got the Spider Man 2099, Ravage 2099. There's I like, like the 99 series. Yeah, I the think Venom 99s, Doctor cool. Doom 99s. And I like those. Those were pretty neat. Uh, but again, it's just, uh, it, gets, uh, it gets criticized. And a lot of people aren't really, mm-hmm. you know, what is it? Let's see, what, what culture. Uh, dot com, you know, so there's 10 problems that nobody wants to admit about Deadpool, and that is being released in a graveyard movie season. Like, yeah, that's I mean, great. 
It's not going to have any competition. That's probably better. Yeah, there's a re- there's a reason for that. They release certain. They release a lot of movies on certain months. Like it's like no one's gonna no one's gonna go. Right. Like, but again, maybe it's not gonna be a big release. There's so many it. crap. You know, no movies going on. People want to yeah. go. They want that escapism. And two, he's got such a cult following. I think that that point is not gonna be a an issue. Uh, and the nine is Tim Miller's feature film directorial debut so they're thinking he's gonna screw up but it's like there's so much money behind it it really can't Mm -hmm. and two anybody who loves deadpool or is into that cult following is gonna give it a grain of salt this isn't this isn't just like a random project either like ryan reynolds has been trying to pull this together for what at least 15 years yeah well since it all started way back in 91 with uh Nasiasa and uh, and good old Lee uh, Lee fell, but in the cinematic aspect, it came out in X Men or Wolverine Origins. Wolverine Origins, and they didn't really do any justice to old Wade Wilson. They gave him well, the I wittiness. Thought, I they thought the opening, the, the opening introduction of Wade Wilson was like on point. Dude was like sarcastic. They started it off well, yeah, and uh, and then they just that's that's Wade Wilson. That's that's pre Deadpool. So they. They walked on that, and then, uh, and then they just uh, mm-hmm. that little uh, asshole that was b- uh, behind. Oh, that's also Wade Wilson. You yeah. probably wouldn't recognize him from any of the background of Deadpool at all, but <laughs> yeah, you know the people X Men Origins. They they got it, and so this is during the creation of him. They give him his fake eyes, and <sighs> yeah, yeah, that was it. And then they covered up his mouth, oh, which yeah, is no longer see, the Merc with the you mouth. You can see it right here. It kind of like his costume, but... Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't give him the costume. There might have been rights issues, but probably not. And then the marker they did on his neck to signify, like, some sort of wafer board electric type Electrodes. of... Electrodes. Yeah, and I imagine when I saw this, I was like, his mouth's covered. That's not... How no, is he gonna... he's like... That's, like, the whole point of Deadpool is, like, he's a mouthiest character. But I figured, well, maybe they'd have Wolverine cut it open or he would finally yeah. cut it open. So I was like, that's kind of neat. But it just wasn't. And then, no, he and got then all of a sudden, tap- he has everybody's powers. powers. He can, like, teleport. He got laser he adopts, vision. He adopts Cyclops' eyes. Uh, and he must have adopted that from maybe getting some of Rogue so he could just absorb it. Unless they instilled it in him. Either way, it was ambiguous. They didn't... Have any rhyme or reason, uh, and it just was not. Uh, yeah, they really shit on him. Bad. And then we've got the newness. He's got the teleport belt on there. He's got his guns. Oh, isn't that the? That is Burt Reynolds. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, Burt like Reynolds came over to my house at one time when we did little, <laughs> little rendezvous. Little yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it must be Burt Reynolds or something. But we photoshopped Deadpool into here. Deadpool wasn't at my house. No, no, no. Ryan Reynolds was, but yeah. not Deadpool. He left the costume in the car. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I really like, of course, the way he looks. It's fun. Uh, I like how Weasel, mm-hmm. oh, what's his name? The guy they got to play uh, Weasel. I should already know this fella uh, by heart, but I don't. But that's okay. That's what IMDb is for. Uh, but he does have a whole bunch of little run-ons in the in the trailers about like what he looks like, and one of my favorite ones we're talking Wait, about. Wait, who is who's Weasel? Weasel. Weasel is his his uh, nemesis. No, it's his uh, weapons dealer that he teams up oh, with, uh, okay. kind of before the whole the whole shitstorm, mm-hmm. and uh, and they end up butting heads. Okay, in back and later forth. Later comic issues and stuff, but uh, but for the most part, it's just kind of you know his weapons deal slash comic relief slash homie. Mm-hmm. Uh, confidant, and confidant. Uh, and he has like you know like we're saying in trailers they'll use different uh, you know different scenes for mm-hmm. the trailers and he's got a whole bunch of one liners like like my favorite one is like shows his face and he's like you look like the inside of a butthole and I'm <laughs> like that's neat you know and I'm eager to see which one that they're gonna actually use in the film because you know they've obviously got plenty to choose from oh. because they changed it up a few times. You know, in, in multiple trailers. trailers, so so we'll see. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that character is uh, is played by old. No, see now we're back. T. J. Miller. He's also a Miller. You know, just like the good uh, old Miller time. Like Tim Miller and T. J. Miller. They are not brothers. I don't think we'll find out. No, we won't. Mm-hmm, They'll probably. keep that under wraps. Uh, but along with him, they've got other. 
people that are from the original story, and that is going to be Blind Al. I thought that was kind of exciting. Blind, Blind Al, Al was like, a, she's a British operative that he was supposed to assassinate. Oh, but and then didn't. he didn't, and they became and lovers. He didn't. No, no, not oh. necessarily. She is uh, much older than I'm not saying uh, <laughs> mature love is, is not supposed to happen, but yeah. uh, she's uh, an older lady, and it's kind of weird. She kind of be- is like his prisoner slash roommate. So, in the comics. So, I, I want to see how it's uh, fleshed Prisoner out. Prisoner slash roommate. Yeah, I'm like, how does that work out? It's like, you know, he just mm. labels his food in the fridge and is like, you don't eat this. You know, <laughs> these are my chimichangas. Cause that's <laughs> these deal. are my chimichangas, yeah. And she's like, but I like chimichangas. It's like, I'm going to get a trip. Yeah. It's like, but you can't, don't you be brailing over my chimichangas, getting them all fingerprinty and <laughs> infected. No. <laughs> So they won't do that. So <laughs> she like a uh, Mexican lady or yeah, yeah no you know this Superman's not here right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm still getting over that plague. I <clears throat> no, it was on point. I was totally believing got the character. from Jeezy's like, uh, tunnel vision. In front of me. Yeah, uh, yeah. So okay, we're gonna have uh, also from the comic books. We're gonna have Ajax. Mm-hmm. You may have seen him in the yeah. trailers. He's yep. the ones like we're not gonna kill you. We're just gonna get you really close to that. <laughs> or some shit. Uh, and then, I don't know about about this. Uh, they brought in old, uh, oh, what's her name? What's her name? I can never remember her name. She's the, uh, she's a mixed martial artist lady. Mix? Fast and Furious, and she was just in the last seven. Eva Mendes? Six and seven. Oh, no, Eva Mendes was in no, six no, seven. Oh. No, no, I can't find her. She doesn't have a very big uh, talking part, as you can tell by the, the trailer. Uh, have you seen all the Fast and Furiouses up to this point? Oh, yeah, top, uh, three. Oh, Ronda Rousey was in seven. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why I texted you that last night. I was like, Rousey's whack. And she has a stupid look on her face the whole time. She's like, this, this... Ronda Rousey was in Fast and Furious in 7? Yeah, she's like, this party's so boring, I'm glad that you showed up. And it's like, ah, oh, get out of here. Why don't you go get your ass kicked by home? Yeah, and she does, and it works. But we got Gina Carano, and uh, she's going to... She was Carano. Fast 6, and now she's going to be in Deadpool. She's the one that punches him in the trailer after Ryan Reynolds is like, oh, I'll just lay me here with Jose Canseco. And it's like, why does she punch him over? Oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, so... She probably won't have many lines either. And so uh, that's, uh, that's eager. Cool, but again, they say she's going to be kind of she's a, a martial yeah, artist. Screen Rant says she's going to be kind of a, a comic relief. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, she's a mixed martial artist. Uh, a lot of her pictures are her and her scantily clothed Doing some costumes. Doing backflips. Yeah. Oh, see? Yeah. De- oh, that's Gauntlet. Yeah, those are the... Uh, Gauntlet. What are the stones called? They, they, had, they had a couple of different names, the... Oh, I know. Talking about here. Marvel. Marvel had it the Infinity Stones. Infinity Stones. They used to be the Infinity uh, Gems back uh, in the day, but that's just that doesn't work gems, with nowadays. They're like yeah. gems. What's a gem? We can't run the gems. We can't run the gems. We, we can't run, run the stones, the s- but we can run the jewels. Run the jewels. Run the jewels. We can run it twice. Run the jewels. About to run it a third time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Pardon. No. Yeah. Yes, so Pardon, my plague should be gone by next week. If it's not, you know who to blame. Uh, Gerald, coming after yeah. you. <laughs> Bam. But we do got Run the Jewels, a new Run the Jewels 3. Have you heard 1 and 2? I've heard 1 and 2, back to back. Actually, Run the Jewels reminds me a lot of that um, that Louisiana sound, that beat sound I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that electronic like, kind of. You could have kill a mic and LP rap over that and, and it would, would sound work. yeah it would sound a lot similar to their projects yeah. I'm really digging their production they are uh, they've done some uh, some tweets where you know it's in the studio showing all their gears mad keyboards mm-hmm. got their dope monitors a lot of synthesizers and and tracking equipment yep. and whatnot plus they're Bernie Sanders advocates so you know that's that is be true cool. kill a mic was on uh, on uh, what was it was he on uh, He's been on a lot of shit everywhere. They're touring. He's touring with Bernie Sanders, so he's. He was on Colbert with. Talking, Uh, talking Bernie Sanders with Colbert, right? Can either confirm or deny that. Yeah, I can't either. It was allegedly a while ago, but he was all about Bernie Sanders, and they were trying to run the jewel. Oh, look, it's a McDonald's necklace. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they got some Easter dope eggs. artwork. They've got a lot of uh, El politically charged topics. And if you've uh, heard Run the Jewels 1, you're lucky. If you haven't, you're missing out. And if you haven't heard 2, you're also missing out because those beats are dope. And Go download that shit. They probably don't care. Yeah, I think it's a bit. free download on, uh, what is it, uh, foolsgold.com is Fool's the label Gold. that, that Shout released out Fool's it. Gold. And, Always uh, putting out fire. Fool's Gold be dropping free albums. And Run the Jewels is some of them. So do it. Get it. Oh, get yep. caught up. Oh, yeah. Three. Oh, yeah. Bought, oh, wait, wait a minute. By a little gift though. Somebody brought a little bit of a show and tell also. We got... Uh-oh. Are those Uggs? Is there Uggs underneath that These paper? Are, this is the Meow the Jewels. Meow the Jewels. Not, you know, the best listen, but you know it's exclusive. It's artistic. It's it's palatable to some extent. Can you see? Do we got... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. These guys are cat oh, lovers no. for sure. You already know it. Oh, we, he's got a calico cat. That right there shows like he's heady into the cat. We got the limited edition fur cover. Touch it. Looking real nice. Touch Can you guys it. touch it? You guys want to feel that? Can you touch that mic with your camera? <laughs> touch it. Uh, yeah, that's real cat. Just so y'all know. That's real cat. It's real cat hair, guys. Carved by Deadpool himself. Don't you see the color scheme? Yeah, I think these are a uh, limited release of... 250? 250. Like that? And if that's that not wrong. a very big number, folks, to how many people there are in the world that were able to I think purchase it's 250, that. But yeah, this is this was definitely a come up. I'll pull it out and show the vinyl. There's a lot of these oh. kids out here don't know what don't know what vinyl is. Hey guys, this is what vinyl looks like. This is what like. vinyl looks like. <laughs> yes. It looks like a white square. <laughs> I didn't listen to that much you put vinyl, the white so. square in your computer and it reads the data off of it. Yes. Psych. I feel like this is like an unveiling thing on YouTube yeah. that like takes forever, and you're like, yeah. "Fuck, dude, just open no, up the man, box." No, man, that's already. where we're gonna like, post production. We're gonna put in a little drum review of these headphones. We're gonna put in that creepy horror music, like before the the guy opens the closet to kill you. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, people, they I do have different colors of vinyl on my finger, and it's kind of I don't know if you can tell. It's almost it's almost uh, bowling ball marbleized a bit. They put little speckles of like a black vinyl in it. I think Adam wants to steal this from me, guys. I kind of have been eyeballing it. it. I have been looking at it oh, from afar. We'll trade. And, uh, Actually, we won't. I'll keep mine. And, and for all you kids that don't know, shit. it's like a CD, but instead of little binary bits of data, there's grooves, little teeny grooves that vibrate across yeah, a people, needle. People used to get into Thunderbirds and just like they'd, stick this they'd in, stick the it in their, in their, in their ten track like stereo. Yeah. And uh, no, it actually, each little line. Can you see the lines, Mike? No. Cool. Yeah, okay. This is almost like a it was a HSN or what's that? What's that shopping network? Yeah, home shopping. Home shopping network. Yeah. That's, That's kind of what this is turning into. <laughs> except it's not for sale and neither is oh. Deadpool. <clears throat> nope. But you can. You can buy um You can a donate viewing. a dollar though. I'll you can show donate it a dollar to patreon.com slash caution tape. Damn. Damn. Keep on bringing you some dope shit. Yeah, we'll keep going through our closets and, and pulling out all kinds of old old memories. And uh, bring them to you, but that is so cool. That's a that's a fur. Yeah, I was that's stoked a fluff on it. Fur. Is that what kind of like led you to it? Yeah, well, the guy in the shop was like, "I bought me one. You need to get you one." And you're like, "Okay." I was like, "Well, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's you that's seem super like a liminal. reasonable guy. Like, you, you seem like you know your shit. You probably play Yu 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 Mon, Pokemon. Yeah, Yu Gi Oh. The way you have your pants stitched up with an electric cord makes me believe every you word very you say. About his craft. Yeah. Well, speaking of that craft, like you were talking about the uh, those beats and how you were really kind of, you know, when you heard that Beyonce, you're like, you could totally hear Killer Mike oh, and LP yeah. on next. It's kind of had that new electronic sound. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you, if any of you guys out there know, LP has been been experimenting with all kinds of stuff. Bex is, you know, <laughs> still deaf junking, uh, you know, making beats for all kinds of people. Some, you know, from Aesop to some Slug to to all these people you may or may not know. Uh, but if you've heard that uh, that uh, fantastic damage, you really, that's when I kind of started noticing a lot of the experimentation. Not mm -hmm. saying he didn't before that, but that's kind of when I started hearing it. And he's got some really, really dope songs. Yeah. It's a long album. You'll get your money's worth if you pick up fantastic damage. Definitely and pushing hip-hop to, like, another, another platform, another vibe, which is it. cool. That jazz background, and he's using real, you know, it's music. It's music. Yeah. It's a new format. It's making it relevant. It's not like, it's not Pimp a Butterfly. No. I'll tell you that. No, it is not. And on that note, there's a little bit of a, eh, it's kind of a vintagey type of video I'd like 
you guys to check it out. It's kind of a throwback uh, mm-hmm. uh, video, and it's uh, it's an LP uh, song. It's called uh, Stepfather Factory. I don't know if you've heard Stepfather Factory. I haven't. Or I'll seen the that video, out. obviously. You haven't seen it. No. You haven't heard it? Unless you were just like, I'm going to turn the sound off and watch it. I've seen it, but haven't heard it. Yeah. But it's a dope animation, uh, kind of like uh, there's a, an animated video called Early for this Run the Jewels 3. That's really oh, dope. Yeah. Uh, but this is uh, not the same animators, but uh, it's it's kind of a... Is El Producto, does he draw? Is he an animator himself? Because all their shit has really dope graphics. Yeah. You know, I'm... I'm not sure. I need to dig into that and find out. But what you guys need to do is you need to dig into Stepfather Factory. Check out that video. It's kind of bone chilling, and it's kind of a kind of a a take on what's going on. It's a social commentary mm-hmm. on things, and it uh, dabbles with the single parenting, drugs, uh, corporate America, uh, and so yeah. Give that five minutes of your time and digest it. It's a dope song and it's a dope video. Check it out. That's what I recommend, and you should see it before. Yeah. Before I meet was with that you one next. One more time, stepfather factory. Stepfather factory. We call this the throwback, Adam's throwback, to be exact. Adam's throwback. Topic, topic of the topic week of the week, and it's stepfather factory. He's reading more, guys. We promise. I'm reading more. I'm reading We're more. We're getting the show flow down. More. We're getting it. See, there was no hiccups until the end. No hiccups until just now. So we got like. Uh, we got like a 99% execution rate tonight. And you know what? It's from viewers like you who visit Patreon slash viewers like Caution you. Tape. PBS, don't sue us. Don't sue us. Uh, oh, public. speaking of PBS, there was a nice little uh, Susan. No, it's Susan. <laughs> Susan B. Arthur. No, Bay Arthur. Susan B. Bay Arthur from the Golden Girls. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, she's okay, not okay, the okay, one, okay. but they had uh, what's the uh, Betty White. Yeah. She was on a good Simpsons that I, I liked. But uh, anyways, now just to tie random things together. Yeah, Betty White. We like you, Betty White. Come like you, show, Betty, Betty White. White. But B. Arthur is also getting some light in Deadpool. That's what he named his swords. Oh, okay. Bay and Arthur. Bay, Arthur. Bay, Arthur. So you said PBS. I thought Betty White, Simpsons, because she's like, if you're not donating, you're technically stealing. Technically. Technically. So then that turned into B. Arthur, uh, and she was the uh, the teacher of the Golden Girls, which I'm sure you knew. So mm-hmm. <laughs> you had uh, you had uh, Betty White, mm-hmm. the dumb one. Mm-hmm. And, uh, just her character. She's very intelligent. Uh, and the then you one. got uh, the whore. Mm-hmm. I think her name was Blanche. I wasn't a Golden Girls, you know, fan. Oh, I kind of had to be. When oh. parents watch it and you get fly swatted if you touch the... I never got fly swatted. Oh, no, my parents like that with American Idol, so... Damn. How old are your parents? Like 16? <laughs> this is like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, but they're all excited about it. This is like that don't drink your juice in the hood where his dad's younger than he is. Yeah, and no, I'm joking. So. I have no idea. I think it is. It's on his last leg for sure. It's in its twilight. Six. I remember when that first came out, I was like, what? It was like that. What else did they watch? Oh, Fear Factor. Is that shit still going on? Oh, yeah. I mean, no, it takes Joe Show. Oh, not Fear Factor. I'm talking about Survivor. Oh, yeah. Now they have Survivor naked or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You stop stop continuing with this. What happened to Fear Factor? I like that. Joe Rogan. Joe like Rogan. They oh, got they got sued because uh, they had a drink. Uh, I think it was donkey semen. Oh, And yeah. that was like it's a little rough. <laughs> borderline bestiality. So they shut it down. After that. <laughs> and yeah, Joe they, Rogan's like, fuck it. I'm making uh, money. They should have researched that. Stuff. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You may not know Joe Rogan. <laughs> I smoke rocks. <laughs> Now the leprechaun smokes rocks? This oh, is no, a... no, that's uh, Thurgood Jenkins. Oh, yeah. Tiger penis. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So Lovely. that's kind of where it went downhill. But yeah, Joe Rogan's making that UFC dough, and he still doesn't do his hair. I like it. He shows up with bed hair. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and a very successful podcast, and he's a successful comedian. He's funny. Entrepreneur. Like Check him out. <laughs> fuck Fear Factor. Just catch Joe Rogan in his raw. That shit was gnarly sometimes. It's <laughs> like, uh, like, oh, it yeah, definitely. drinking horse, like donkey semen. Who would? No, I sh- I'm out. Uh, these yeah, guys like, tried it, guys. Like, they, yeah. <laughs> they tried it. Starts doing those little cartoon bubbles afterwards. They're like, what are you fucking, what is this? <laughs> what is, and that's when they're like, they just like blur out the bubbles. Yeah, like, they I just know like, exactly <laughs> what that is. They blur out. Your blur can't hide the donkey semen bubbles.
Yeah, that's all we got tonight, folks. Again, visit us at patreon.com slash caution tape. Pledge a buck, support the show, and visit us at uh, caution tape vids at YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Leave a comment. Tell us what you guys want to hear. See you guys next week. You know the deal. Laters.